Hello everyone and welcome! In this video I'm going to be explaining balancing shafts. Now in this video in particular I'm going to be talking about balancing shafts on inline four-cylinder engines, though it can be applied to other engine layouts as well. So if you haven't already watched my video on four-cylinder engines, I'd recommend checking that out first and I will include a link in the description. So, balancing shafts. Why would you want balancing shafts? Well, if you've watched my video on four-cylinder engines, you know one of the big disadvantages of an inline four-cylinder is that its secondary forces are not in balance. So what a balancing shaft does is eliminate those secondary engine imbalances uh, by counteracting it. So what we've got going on is we have a crankshaft, uh, and then that crankshaft is going to be geared to two balancing shafts which have weights at one side. Um, so basically as these rotate, these weights have a force that's going out um, with the rotation. So, what it's, what it's going to be in an in a four, inline four-cylinder engine is, here you've got your crankshaft, uh, and here you've got your two balancing shafts, and these are going to rotate towards each other, or away from each other, either way it would work, um, but basically they're going to rotate uh, in a manner so that they're both rotating in opposite directions, um, and so you can do that by having this little pulley here wrap around uh, one of the shafts, and then wrap around the other in the opposite direction, and then they'll rotate inward together, and then you've got counterweights on these shafts to counter out these secondary engine imbalances. So, what it's going to look like, uh, here we've got our four-cylinder engine. As the pistons move up and down, you can see the primary forces are balanced out, but the secondary forces all will be pointing in the same direction. So, what happens is, when you're at top dead center, the secondary force on this piston is going to be up. So, the secondary force of the counterbalance needs to be down. So you're going to have these balancing shafts so that they're rotated downward at that moment in time. So there's a 2 to 1 gear ratio between the crankshaft and the balancing shafts, so that the balancing shafts ro rotate twice for every one rotation of the crankshaft. And the reason you do that is because secondary forces occur twice per revolution of the crankshaft, so you need to have these forces counteracted twice, and you do that by rotating these balancing shafts twice per revolution. So, at mid-stroke, once this come, has turned, the crankshaft has turned 90 degrees, then you're going to have this secondary force coming down, and so you need to counteract that. So you'll have a 180 degree rotation from the balancing shafts, so they'll have a net secondary force, or a net force going up, which will counteract that secondary force. And then once you hit bottom dead center, uh, the secondary force is going to be pointing up once again, and so you need these uh, balancing shafts to rotate another 180 degrees, and then the force will be going downward, and it'll counteract that secondary force. So, the question may be, well, why would you have two shafts? I mean, you could just have one shaft to counteract these secondary forces. And yes, you could. The, the problem is you would get a side-to-side -side vibration. So by having two that are rotating towards each other, uh, or in opposite directions, when they're both pointing up, you have a net force up, that's going to be counteracting this negative uh, secondary force. When they're both pointing down, you have a net force down, so that'll counteract a positive uh, secondary force. But when they're moving to the side, they'll cancel each other out, because this shaft will have a force going in that direction, and this one in the opposite. So that'll cancel out. Whereas if you just had one, you would be vibrating that back and forth. So, what does this look like in the big scheme of things uh, on this plot, which you've seen plenty of times if you've been watching the other engine balancing videos? So, you've got your primary forces of your first and fourth cylinder, you've got your primary forces of your second and third cylinder, and then you've got your secondary forces here of all four cylinders. And what this balancing shaft does is it just negates those secondary forces so you have a nice, very smooth engine without these vibrations caused by the secondary forces. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Thanks for watching.